we are playing every single Bowser Castle track in Mario Kart Super Nintendo through Mario Kart 7, which leads to 12 tracks total in a lounge style FFA. We did something similar years ago on Flounderfest, but since then the tracks have been updated and we are playing 150cc this time. If you were interested in getting Retro Rewind, be sure to check the description below because I can guarantee you will not regret it. We are playing potentially the most fun FFA possible. This is a Mogi Lounge style tournament here. 12 races, 150cc FFA, no team VS. We're playing every single Bowser Castle track in Retro Rewind. There's a lot of them, 12 in total, including the Wii Bowser's Castle. There's no Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Bowser Castle, but we got everything else. So this should be such an amazing FFA here. And we got lots of good players in the room, of course. We saw Matutino in first right now. I know Mpex is in here. It's gonna be a tough one, but a lot of fun for sure. And we're using the new feature to be able to skip all the waiting screens. We're just hopping one race after the other. One of my favorite features ever added in any Mario Kart game. Shortcut, Shroomless, yes, first, let's go. The hype is real. Hopefully I don't get redded for that. He's right on my tail. I, oh, I must've used a mushroom. He's right here. Oh, I tried to do a jump trick with a downward right angle to get the right alignment. Instead, I'm paying the price getting bumped by Bowser here. Uh, still in second overall though. I'm actually in a really good spot here. Just gotta make sure I don't get back spammed. Should I go for snipe? Sure. Oh, that went way too far. I think instead of going for shortcut, I'm playing it safe here. And just gonna go really wide and hope he gets blue shelled. Let's see what happens. We'll definitely still win this one. Oh, he's not gonna get blue. Hopefully I don't get blue now. Gotta get to the finish line quick. Second place, I'll take it. Really happy I got to showcase that shortcut. Do a TF input, meaning drift hard left, hold right while you trick, then go back to left as you land and you get extra air. You can use your trick boost instead of having to use a mushroom. It is an incredible shortcut. Machitina wins by 1.5 seconds. And this is gonna be an intense GP. We're gonna play the three SNES Bowser Castle tracks and then just go from there all the way till we end on Mario Kart 7's Bowser Castle. No! Oh, terrible, burned out. Okay, well, we're gonna pay the price here. Good thing there is a shortcut on this track. This is the same one from back in the day. Just had a texture rehaul, a few things changed. This is the MK Dasher. SNES Bowser Castle 2, the one, the one we have in CTGP for all these years, and it's just an incredible track. It's so well made, it's really stood the test of time, and the graphical update has also helped with it. But I'm super happy we have this one in Retro Rewind. It, it's a blast. It always gives entertaining races. It's a little bit long, but even though it has a completely flat layout, it still has difficulty to it, and it's difficult and simple at the same time. It's a very simple design when you look at the minimap. It's all right angles for the most part but there's lots of obstacles you have to avoid, like the Mecha Bowser right in front of me with the fireballs. And we're in just the perfect spot here. I'm not gonna be able to, I gotta watch out, Where's where, where is he? Okay, we have a slight lead on Jigsaw Flex. He's gonna be trying to get the main turbos to pass me right now. And unfortunate, I have to use my mushrooms. Oh, I was gonna be able to be in first with a mushroom. Oh, I never knew you could get a low trick like that. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I was hoping to just shortcut every lap or dodge blue shell or something like that. I was really set to win this one. Now, anything can happen. This is an extremely close race. Being in first doesn't mean too much on such a long track. We're definitely gonna take a blue shell, maybe two of them. And speak of the blueberry devil, there it is. Okay, okay, we're still good, we're still good. And it looks like we just hit Edwin in second place. So we're off to the races here. We have a blue shell lead. I'm feeling really confident about this. Just gotta make sure I don't make any stupid mistakes. And that is easier said than done. Okay, I'm gonna try to inch towards this mushroom here and not even go for a standstill main turbo and just speed right up. So we're still in first, but it's extremely close right now. And I'm probably gonna lose my lead. Yeah, any second. Oh, I got the low trick again. I've never got that low trick in my life and I just got it twice in one race. Incredible. We're not gonna tank a third blue shell, right? I really hope not. If I get blue shelled again, I'm gonna finish in the back because I'm gonna get comboed probably. It's very close right now. Beautiful. There it is. 
Wait, I'm still in first. Come on, come on, come on. How often do you get blue three times and get first? Incredible, this is one of my best raced races of the year, to be honest. I am dumbfounded. That, I can't remember the last time that happened. Three blue shells in one race, first place. Wow, I'm feeling on top of the world right now and looks like Machutino ended up getting sixth. So, and second overall is Oregano. I have a five point lead, incredible start to this GP. So this is one of my favorite, oh, 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 okay, I'm good. My favorite new additions to Retro Rewind. The CTGP version of this track is more true to the original SNES Bowser Castle 3, while this version obviously mirrors the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe slash Mario Kart Tour version. And it has a really cool shortcut, one of the commissions that I did for ZPL, or that, that he did, I mean. So hopefully I can showcase the commission shortcut. It's one I don't believe I've showcased on the channel yet, so that'd be really fun getting to show that off, but I need a mushroom for it. If I do get one, I will go for it. If I stay in first, then it is what it is. And we're not gonna be able to do the shortcut on this race, but hopefully I can manage to get to the finish line without another blue shell, because this is another incredible race. Just haven't made any mistakes playing this one really well. I think we're gonna be good. <laughs> Jumped over the gap, back on the rail, and then CPU on lap four. Took me off the rail, super fun one. And I'm very curious to see where the results are after this. We are three races down, nine to go, and we are sitting at almost a perfect score of 42 out of 45 points, but Machutino is gonna make this difficult. He has 33 right now, and I believe Mpex is not on a top tier. I think Mpex is on a cart, so I mean, shouts to him for going for that because uh, we have quite a bit of vehicle diversity in the room, thanks to the competitors. Unlike me, using the try-hard combo. Oh, I thought I was gonna burn out. Okay, starting this one first, I feel like it's such an advantage. Hopefully I can capitalize. Nobody passes me here in the very first few seconds. I can, oh, I just I just missed the trap. And Machutino now has a fake item box in front of me. This is really bad. He's gonna lay it. I'm going so wide. How is he not laid it yet? He's gonna lay it here. Oh, he's trying to be dirty and throw it off the wall. Just gotta take completely different lines than him to make sure I don't get backspammed. Got him. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I thought that went right through his Bowser. That's, that's really unfortunate. I was so focused on that that I completely messed up and got hit. I could have probably dodged that red just barely if I did it right. And Machutino blocks the shortcut, very smart. Looks like we're gonna have to take the long way, long way here. And Machutino has a big lead, so he can gain a lot of points on me here unless I finish at the top. I don't think anyone's catching him unless there's two blue shells. He definitely has at least a one blue shell lead. Jigsaw flex on the mini beast right now, looks like. I think the mini beast might end up being the best cart for Retro Rewind just because the main turbo stat matters so much. It's very reminiscent of like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with how much the main turbo matters. Oh, it, oh, okay, okay, this is craziness. I'm not gonna wheelie here, of course. Gonna get the wheelie there, though, and this is gonna be an incredible golden mushroom if everything goes well. Six greens in front of me. I'm gonna go really wide. I'm a ninja right now. I cannot believe this. Okay, well, shortcut is open. I just messed that up royally. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Just gotta keep looking back, make sure no one throws anything forward right here. And I'm gonna try to steal his box. I think he's still got one. Got him, let's go. All right, so now if Machutino gets blued, I'm set. I think I can, no, never mind. I'm not set. It's totally about salvaging second now. He has a big lead again. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Just make sure I don't get back spammed. Gotta be very careful on these corners, especially. Things are looking good though. It doesn't seem like he's back spamming. I don't know what he has. Maybe triple banana as he's just holding them. I don't know. So right here, we're going wide. And there's no back spam once again. 
Very surprising. And we totally are missing the shortcut. In some awkward positions, but hey, I mean, I'll take second place. Extremely goofy race. And as expected, Machutino was able to front run the entire thing. Nobody caught him for this race. I could have played that one so much better. Definitely my weakest race so far, but very fortunate to get second place. Unlike lap three where I failed rail shortcut, and even lap two didn't go as planned. I'm hoping on this track, I'm able to get the rail cut. It saves a lot of time. It's a very short track, which means the shortcut is even more important than usual. Maybe we can pull it off. Just maybe we can get ahead and make it an easy first place here. It's weird because these ramps don't shoot you as far and then this final ramp shoots you really far. See, it's, it's really awkward. I, I don't know how to do this one consistently at all. Like, it shoots you past the ramp in a way, so I gotta figure out how to do it. Maybe maybe, maybe not trick, uh, like, a line, line for the rail and don't trick at all, like, might be the way to do it. I, I really don't know. It's a very tough shortcut compared to what it looks like. And sorry, Mpex, feel kind of bad doing that. We have someone on the zip zip? I don't know. Looks like the zip zip. Okay, so that's... Oh, of course! Just target shocked in the worst spot. This is so bad. I can't even dodge now. I'm in the back. It's over. I'm playing to get like 7th this race. Maybe something catastrophic will happen, but I mean, there's really not any time to catch up. It's pretty much over already. Should probably go for shortcut. Oh, I made it, I made it! Are you kidding, are you kidding? Seventh place, well, disastrous. Absolute cluster at the end there, and just got screwed over. I'm so happy I made shortcut lap three though, that was really satisfying, even though the aftermath was less than ideal. But we did beat Machutino, so we actually increased our lead. We're up eight points now, and we are on to GBA Bowser Castle 2, another amazing track. Okay. So this one, one of my favorite tracks in the entire Retro Rewind. I played this one more in Mario Kart DS than I actually did playing it in the original game on Super Circuit. So I'm used to snaking up a storm on this one. Okay, we failed the rail cut, that's okay. So I'm gonna go for this rail cut right here. I got it! Oh, I just barely got a trimless. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I was expecting to fail that. That did not feel good when I went off the, the ramp there. I did not get as much air as expected, and I was just bracing for impact. I thought I was gonna hit that wall head on and lose like five seconds and just trick boost straight into oblivion. But I love doing this strat right here. It saves a little bit of time, but it's very satisfying. And then if I can nail this strat, here, I would love that for you guys. Oh, this was really ugly, but it worked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're carving it up right now on GBA BC2. Right when I say that. See, that that's my biggest fear. Did I just dodge the shock? Well, I'm getting glued anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. But oh no, I, t I totally just dodged. Okay, so we're gonna still be in first. We're still in first! I got blue shelled, I fell off, and I'm still in first. Oh my gosh, the luckiest shock dodge of my life. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Beautiful. So satisfying. And then I like to not trick here, trick here. Oh! Are you kidding? No! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get for it. That's fine. That's fine. Hilarious. Hilarious. How did that red get to me? How did it not go for the wall? Red shells of death. Unbelievable. All right, so we are we're getting trolled right now because uh, that's like a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe red shell. BC3, we know the shortcuts on this one. I don't know which one I'm gonna go for, but I'm probably gonna go for one of them. We'll see. 
I'm just gonna lay this. Go for the snipe. Uh, just gonna throw this out of rage. I'm going for ultra because everyone else seems to be going for the regular. And we got it, trimless, perfect. Just like that, we're back in first place. Beautiful, just what I needed. I'm gonna go for the uh, Shroomless Cut in first and try to block it simultaneously. That's my plan right now. I'm just hoping I can make it to the shortcut before a blue shell. And I'm definitely gonna do the off the wall strat here. The reason why you wanna throw the green shell off the wall instead of throwing it back is the green shells travel way faster. It makes them much more difficult to evade, especially when everyone has to worry about that bridge section, how, how easy it is to fall off and get bumped off. People aren't gonna be expecting a green shell going laser speed, that's for sure. Oh, this is unfortunate. I can't go for shortcut, so we're just gonna have to take the regular route here, and we're gonna lose some time to people going for it. Probably not gonna be in first. Uh, okay, looks like second and third and fourth, none of them went for cut, so this is really lucky. Cut completely unblocked. I'm very surprised to still be in first right now, and looks like no one's really going for it. Fascinating. This was a super fun race overall. Doing the ultra shortcut lap one set me up for success, and then I was able to front run. This track is all about the shortcut, so we capitalized and didn't even have to go for it again. 82 points, and this is crazy. I have a 16 point lead over second right now. This GP is going phenomenal. I'm gonna try to get the inside box. I'm try to get two main turbos. Beautiful. Gonna get this out and try to get a perfectly straight line. Oh, not too great because there's a hole here. <laughs> and Jigsaw Flex is taken over first as I miss consecutive main turbos. I gotta really watch out for bumps right now. He's gonna drop this. Yeah, unfortunate. I just have a faster vehicle, so I just caught him and wasn't able to realign in time. All right, so he should be in first for a bit here. I'm nailing the low tricks though, I'm nailing them. This is a great catch up here. I can, I can definitely get back into second or third as long as I don't get hit by one of these greens or anything. I'm just gonna hold this item. in a really good spot right now. This is a super long track. There's gonna be blue shells. It's extremely close pack. And I'm chaining, hopefully, Mega Thundercloud. Triple green's pretty good. Byron, no luck. Damn, we got a draft, incredible. We just passed two people off that. And Noodle's in first right now. I only have one revolving broccoli, as Nick would call it. I'll try to outline and hit with the green. Oh, backfired. Fib wall. Everyone's going wide. Crazy race right now. I'm gonna get the item. Yes! <sighs> Firing it. Sorry, Oregano. Oh, they dodged it! Unbelievable. And I, and I didn't get the box. Everything's backfiring right now. I need to get these lows. I need to get ahead of Edwin. Four for four. Perfect. And I get really bumped. It's not a great race for me. I just keep getting slow owned. And it's just in the worst spots. But still, nothing catastrophic. And I'm able to hopefully hold a second right here. Nope, Matutino is off. <sighs> what a snipe. Oh, there's only two laps! I was lining up for the sh oh, I was lining up for the snipe. I thought there was three laps. Oh That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I could have beat him. Oh GCN Bowser's Castle, two big changes to this track with the commission. And the first one is right here. You can get up top and there's boost panels, invisible boost panels and invisible trickable regions. So we're gonna try to do it. Oh, can I get up? Okay, so I, I, well, I did it, but I immediately hit the freaking post and just got shot down into oblivion. Not a great start. Chuck this forward, see what happens. Not having too much luck with the snipes today, that's for sure. Feels like people are in different locations and they show up. All right, so bullet bill, I mean, we're getting totally bailed out. This is an incredible pull. And I just need to save it for a little bit and use it on the section of the track that's the most difficult for the flame runner to navigate. This is definitely a mock bike part of the track coming up right here. So we're gonna use the bullet right now. 
And this should get us past these corners to the straightaway and drop us right here. Yeah, perfect. Perfect bullet bill. No dodge, but still really happy with that. And I'm very nervous about this wild move behind me. Just gonna go really wide to evade the fireball. And I'm gonna go for the rail shortcut now. You gotta line up here. Trick, hold down. You gotta land on the rail and then ride it to the fire geyser. From there, you just hop off, get a trick, and then proceed onwards. Almost got it, really unfortunate. Yes, got it. And we got the strategy I was talking about last lap. We got it on lap two. I mean, I lost like 10 spots to trying it last time. It's a little bit risky to do shroomless. With the mushroom, much easier. You get to trick off the first ramp and then land up top and profit immediately. But happy to, to get it pretty, pretty uh, perfectly. I mean, you can't do it too much better in that shroom list. We definitely gained time. Machatino is on a tear right now. He's not giving up this GP. Even though I have the lead, this is definitely not over. One bad race for me, and he gets first, and it's pretty much tied, so. Gotta stay close. Hopefully there's a blue shell. He's definitely one of the people left that can still win the GP. It's, I think it's between me, Edwin, and Machatino right now. I don't get hit here. Good. See, this might hit him right here. It's gonna be close. Okay, I'm going for shortcut. I was talking about last lap. Let's see if I get it this time. Got it. Perfect. Catching up majorly right now. This is unfortunate. The red shell is totally screwed me over. I would have been able to take the lead right there. Throwing them all. Oh. This is a battle right now. This is such a good race. The second one of us hits the other, it's probably gonna be GG's. And he definitely has that advantage being able to back green me. Okay, I did not hit him with my fake item box from last lap. Looks like nobody hit that, unfortunately. I'm going for the snipe. Going for it. Yes! Yes! Let's go! This is just, <laughs> just what we needed. I might get blue now, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Or that might happen. All right, Dicey's right behind me. He might go for the snipe, but I do have protection. You'd have to side green me, which is really tough. Really wide here. And I'm not going for rail, like I got last lap. We're gonna get the first place here. Really satisfying. I'm so happy I got that rail shortcut lap two, and I got to showcase both major strats on this track. Sitting real pretty right now. 20 point lead over Matutino, and it's pretty much a fight for second, I think. I think I got this one almost wrapped up. All right, one of my favorite tracks. I mean, this is literally just playing like all my favorite tracks. The Bowser Castle tracks, oh, let's go again. They're almost, I would say they, they make up like, wow, my drift did not come out, that was awful. They make up like half of my favorite tracks in the history of Mario Kart, or just Bowser Castle tracks. I love, you know, DK Summit, Mushroom Gorge, Grumble, Dry Dry Ruins, and I love BC Wii, BC3, DS Bowser's Castle, and then, I mean, I'd have to think. I mean, GBA Bowser's Castle 2 is up there for sure, and oh, this is painful. Oh, this is really bad now. Well, we're gonna lose in a lot of time. This is gonna be an interesting one. This is definitely not a track you wanna fall behind on. Oh, right as I say that, target shocked. Oh no, this is horrible. Oh, that's a really good respawn, though. I, that's not even that bad. Never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. <laughs> Did not expect that respawn. All right. So I'm looking at the minimap, and we're really not that far behind. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm probably six, seven seconds behind first right now. And one blue shell will even that up. We got the bullet. Oh. One thing you want to make sure on this track right now, there's a bug. If you use the bullet on the bottom route, it'll just cl uh, crash into the wall. So you got to be very careful using your bullet on the bottom route. You will die. It is a 100% thing. So we got to remember that. Mainly telling myself not to use the bullet. If that happens again, I fall to the bottom route. There's the blue shell. So my plan is to use it... Now. Let's see if it works. I held it for a long time. If I dodge, it'll be incredible, but regardless, we are gonna be in first. All right, definitely worth it, still. So. 
Well, I tried for an impossible dodge. It did not work, but we're not really getting double comboed, it looks like. And we are gonna get the, I'm gonna spam, spam, spam. We got the chain, we got the chain. We're back in it, we're back in it. Oh my gosh. This is a riveting race. This, this, oh, Jigsaw. This track usually doesn't give races like this. It's usually very front run orienting. They're kind of boring a lot of the times because people just break away. Ah, pain, pain and misery. This could have been so much better for me. All right, I need to find a way to salvage like third or fourth here. You need to get a mushroom and do the ending shortcut. You could do it trimless, it's very risky. Okay, well my bomb didn't do anything. I think the shock just completely ruined me there. Double target shock, unbelievable. I need a mushroom here. I actually got one. So happy of fourth. That could have been so much worse. I believe Machatino got first, so this GP just got a little more interesting. Definitely not over. We still have two more Bowser Castle tracks. And, oh, okay. Edwin making things interesting. Ends up getting first by a couple seconds, so 1.2 seconds. Second place, Machatino. Third place, Edwin. 16 point lead, still not over. And now we have BC Wii, top three track in the history of Mario Kart. Top three, all different vehicles, mock bike, Flame Runner, Shooting Star, I think it's an inside drift Shooting Star, and just Retro Rewind things. We're getting lots of different vehicles being used in this event here. I would love to do the glitch. It's just kind of risky going for it in a top spot here. How did I not get hit? Absolute miracle. Jigsaw Flex is just destroying this GP, isn't he? Just being on a cart is, uh, sometimes the bike's kryptonite. You know, cart's definitely not as good as bikes, but they can really do some damage, that's for sure. How did I not hit the fire and get the item? That was insane. Some parkour maneuvers happening, and we're paying the price though. Not looking back in time. I somehow did not get hit. And now he has a red, so I gotta be so careful. Machutino's in first. Jigsaw has a fake item box. This is really, it's really terrifying. Alright, we secured second right now. Okay, well I double clicked my button on accident, almost really got screwed over by that red. Once again, spammed it too fast, just wasting items here. Wow, it's a miracle I'm in first. I've done so much wrong spamming my items. I'm gonna make sure I don't spam this one. I'm literally not gonna press L. There's my big item box, perfect spot to get shocked. So lucky I didn't get target shocked. I bet someone did. No time to look at the mini map right now. It's such a close race. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I got a nice lead now. So if we win this race, we win the GP. Nice. Feels good. Really wanted to attempt the shortcut. The pal took that opportunity away from me, but still such an exhilarating race. I mean, one thing's for sure, the races have been intense and close and unpredictable today. And that's really all you can ask for from Mario Kart Wii. So such an incredible GP. I can't believe how well it's gone. And Machutino and Edwin, they're playing for a second. Last track, BC7, Bowser Castle from Mario Kart 7. There's a really cool shortcut on this one. I'm definitely gonna try it. 
All right, last track. Thank you everyone for joining me in this video. This has been like one of the most fun videos I've recorded in a while, as you can imagine, just playing incredible tracks on 150cc over and over. And this mod just really delivers. If you haven't got Retro Rewind, be sure to check the description. I'll put the tutorial on how to get it. It's getting updates literally every single day, and I'm not even exaggerating. It's, it's mind blowing. It's truly mind blowing. There's so much hype around this mod, rightfully so, and it's gonna be a big part of this channel's content for the foreseeable future. All right, we're going for shortcut. You land up top. Oh, oh no, I got a weird wall clip. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going for it again next lap. I've already won the GP, so we gotta stop. I know you guys wanna see the shortcuts, but anyway, you combine two shortcuts together. That's how it works. You land up top and then you get the trick and use the trick to go off the ramp over the lava and then you land on the other ramp at the end of the lava section and that ramp has been made more useful because it now gives a flip trick instead of a stunt trick so you get like twice the boost from it which is incredible oh yeah no, i'm gonna be good let's try it no what is this what is this oh why am i tricking so high why am i getting so much air that's really unfortunate i might get back to here i gotta be careful i think i'm good now I think I got fourth this race. Yeah, Machi Tino probably passed me on the line. He had a better straighter alignment, but oh well, still worth it. 140 points. That tops off the GP. Machi Tino ended up getting second. Edwin with third. And good games to everyone. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what type of themed Retro Rewind event would you like to see? We did all the Bowser's Castles. We can do all the Rainbow Roads. We can do all the Mario Circuits. Or if you have another idea, please let me know. All right, thanks for watching. And subscribe like the video, the usual stuff. Peace.